Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. I want us to study from the book of Luke, um, chapter 6. Sorry. From verses 12. And it's pertinent here in that I want you to note a particular thing that even our Savior Jesus Christ had to do. And we'll read. I, I'll be reading from the One New Man translation. And it happened in these days he went out to the mountain to pray. And he was spending the night in prayer with God. And when it became day, he called his disciples. And he chose twelve from them, whom he then called apostles. They were Simon who he also called Peter, and Andrew his brother, and Jacob, and John, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and Jacob, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the one called Zealot, and Judas the son of Jacob, and Judas Iscariot who became a betrayer. I reeled all this out to point at something very interesting here. What was Jesus' business of the day? His business of the day was making a choice or make it choosing something as important as those who were to support him in, during his ministry, to help him during his ministry, and who he was training to carry on after he leaves the scene. So what did he do before this onerous task? Simple. He went out into a solitary place. When they say mountain, it was a solitary place where he was alone. And what did he go there to do? To commune with the Father, the Father of all wisdom. For the Father to give him the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him and the eyes of his understanding being enlightened so that he could make God choices. He could choose according to the will of the Father. Very important. Do you have decisions to take? Before time for taking those decisions, go and spend time with the Father. So that when it is time to take those decisions, you'll be led your spirit will be sensitive. You would have, you you'll be directed to make the right choices. When I say the right choices, I mean the God choices. He, you notice here, he chose Judas. Judas Iscariot. This was a choice from God. Judas Iscariot was in the will of God to fulfill the redemption of man, even though it was going to cost Jesus his life. But he still chose Judas because it was the will of the Father. He had gone and spent time asking of the Father. And the Father had given him an unction and led him to choose these ones. So the choice might be sour in your mouth. But if you've spent time with the Father and you know it's the Father's will, he will give you the grace to go through it and at the end of the day he will cause you to overcome the bible says that had they known had the princes of this world known the chief ones of this world known the evil uh, despots of this world known they would not have crucified the lord of glory so they thought they were harming jesus not knowing that it was a sword which was being returned to sender the, case, the same will be in your case where you go before the Father, hear his word, hear his will in prayer. You commune with him and you make those choices which he directs you to make. Those choices are per the perfect will of the Father for you. At the end of the day, all things will work together for your good. God bless you. Hallelujah.